Hello everybody, I hope you are having a wonderful day wherever you're at. I just want to take a quick second and thank you all so much for your encouragement, your support, and your love that I made on the video about my father's passing a few days ago. It was just absolutely incredible to see how much support we've gotten and to see how many different people around the world have gone through the same thing. My hearts and my prayers are out to everybody else who might be going through the same thing. And again, just thank you so much for the support. It means the world to me. Absolutely makes a huge difference. So many of you commented on that video and it means so, so much. Thank you all very much. One of the things that my father taught me was to always utilize the resources we have around us. If we don't have to make an extra trip to the grocery store or to the co-op or anywhere for that matter, try not to because most of the time we can make it work at home with what we have. And so that brings me to today's video. I present to you the chittiest potatoes ever grown on YouTube. These potatoes have been sitting downstairs. I'll admit it, I completely forgot about them. So they are totally chitted out. And we are going to grow these potatoes in an unconventional way. If you're new to the channel, you might not be aware that I love experimenting with plants. I love encouraging people to become curious about gardening and curious about the plants that they are growing as well. Which brings me to today's video. I'm going to show you that you can grow things in unconventional ways. You don't have to follow the rules or the laws of gardening because as a matter of fact, there is a thousand ways to grow everything. Whatever we're growing in the garden, there's going to be somebody saying that you're doing it the wrong way or some people agreeing with you saying that you're doing it the right way. When in all reality, your harvest is probably going to be just fine anyways, which is why it's important that we utilize the resources around us. Really think of it as treating resources with reverence. These things have been provided to us from the earth, so we should use whatever we can. So in today's video, we're gonna be growing them in a five gallon bucket. Right here, five gallon bucket. And I am going to show you all just how easy potatoes will grow. And that as a matter of fact, you don't have to spend a lot of money when growing your potatoes this way. So let's start growing these chitty potatoes. The process of growing these potatoes is very easy. We're just gonna take our five gallon bucket and put in about four inches of soil. Now as part of this very fun experiment that I'm going to do, I'm going to grow our potatoes with some potting soil that has fertilizer and cost us some money. It's about seven or eight dollars a bag for this stuff. And then I'm also going to grow some potatoes literally digging a hole in our backyard. We're just going to take some random soil from our backyard, dig it up, put it into the bucket and grow the potatoes that way. Just to show you all that no matter what resources you're using, your harvest will probably come out okay. And there's a bunch of different ways that we can save money if you're in the position where you can't afford to spend six or seven dollars uh, of soil and the bucket and everything else to produce some potatoes at home. You know, it's just not financially viable at that point. So when we're in a pinch, we can make other things work and these potatoes will grow just fine. All right, so we've got about four inches of soil in the bottom of our bucket. Now all we're going to do is put the potato right up on top of that and then cover it with about another four inches of soil. These buckets have holes in the bottom of them. I believe they are 3 8 holes that I drilled all around it for drainage. If you don't have these holes, your potatoes will rot out. So make sure you have drainage holes for them. After this point, if you are getting regular rains about you know every four or five days, your potatoes will probably be okay without being watered. But if you go more than four days, five days without rain, uh, at least a significant amount, then you're going to want to water them. 
Again, since these have drainage holes, you can really, uh, let's say, put in about half a gallon or a gallon of water. It's going to drain out of this just fine. Keep these potatoes in full sunlight as we want to make sure that the soil temperature is quite warm. If our soil temperature drops below 45 degrees, then they're not going to grow nearly as fast. So if we can maintain temperatures, ideally above 50 degrees at the minimum, then we are golden. A 65 degree soil for potatoes like this or any seed potato, that is going to be ideal. Your potatoes will sprout faster than you would believe. Right now, these potatoes are about two, two and a, go back behind the cloud. Oh, the problems, there's always problems with recording videos. It's either the sunlight, the wind, all of your neighbors mowing their backyards or using their weed whackers, all the crazy stuff that people do to maintain their pretty lawns. I'm sorry, I absolutely hate grass. I think it's just the most ridiculous thing that we do as Americans. We could be growing flowers instead, or you could have a backyard like mine where you've got, I've got dandelions and wood violets, all sorts of weeds that are giving our pollinators and bees all of that sweet nectar that they need this time of year. And it's ugh, just, okay, rant over. Um, these potatoes are about two weeks old at this point. And I'm gonna show you all what they look like. So looking inside, we can see that the, this is the bucket with the potting soil and this is the bucket with just our backyard topsoil. The one with the potting soil is doing better than the topsoil. But keep in mind, this was absolutely free to do, where this costs about $6 just to produce some potatoes. So I think in the end, the stuff with our topsoil will do fine as well. Um, at this point, we've actually hilled these already. So, you know, we had our first layer of soil, then we had the potato, second layer of soil on top of that and um, they sprouted through that second layer of soil, which at that point we added more soil on top. Each time these things pop through the soil like this, we basically wanna add about two or three inches of soil on top of it. So each time your potatoes start sprouting through that soil, just add in another two to three inches of soil on top of that, up until the point where your bucket is full. Or if you're doing this, um, say, on the native soil in the earth and you're just hilling them, keep on doing that um, for probably, probably about a month and a half. You know, you're going to want at least a foot, ideally about two feet of soil on top of your potatoes that you will grow all of those tubers inside of. Now, you can do this in native soil if you want to, but I just think it's cool to do this in five gallon buckets, which is why we're doing this experiment, because it's something a lot of people can do in their backyards, no matter what size of property that they're on. So keep those potatoes warm, keep on adding soil on top of them, just like I am here, and I will catch you guys back in a few weeks with an update. We're gonna grow these potatoes up for about a hundred days until we harvest them out. But I will continuously update you to see which one is doing better. Ultimately, I think the potting soil one might do a little bit better, but again, that's not the point. The point is that you can still get harvest of vegetables for a very, very low cost compared to going to the supermarket or going to the store or garden center and purchasing brand new supplies each time. There's a lot of different resources that we should utilize in our backyard gardens and our homestead. And if you want the full video that I did on how to grow potatoes in a bucket, I will have that um, in a screen right here, right at the end of the video just now. Uh, click on that. It's really fun. It's a, a great project for the whole family. My son had a blast doing it as well. And if you've got kids, I think that they're gonna have a fun time also. Happy gardening and we'll see you in the next episode.